Introduced in the 2015 release of Photoshop CC, we can now create multiple artboards within a single Photoshop file. Artboards are containers that act like a layer group, and layers placed within an artboard are clipped to the artboard boundaries. Our Photoshop files can contain multiple artboards, perhaps to show screens in an iPhone app. And each can be a different size, maybe to show a responsive design. This makes it easy to copy content between artboards, view everything all together, and also keeps your designs much more organized. When creating a new document in Photoshop, you can now choose Artboard from the available document types, and then select the size that fits your device. If you already have a Photoshop document created without artboards, you can also easily add them later. Down here, you can see the artboard in the Layers panel. Layers added to an artboard appear grouped below the artboard in the Layers panel. To change artboard properties, you can select the artboard in the Layers panel. You can then edit artboard properties such as size, orientation, and more using the Tool Options bar, the Properties panel, or by using the artboard handles to manually resize the artboard. To add more artboards to your document, select the Artboard tool under the Move tool and drag to create a custom-sized artboard. Or you can click the Add New Artboard button, choose a preset size, and click to create the artboard. Each artboard has a specific name that appears as a name label on the canvas. You can edit artboard names so they make more sense to you by double-clicking the name in the Layers panel. In the Layers panel, each artboard has its own layer stack that can be arranged. Layers within an artboard are clipped by the artboard boundary and nested within that artboard in the Layers panel. But layers outside of artboards are not clipped by any of the artboards. Exporting optimized artwork from a document with artboards is easy. You can right-click on any of the contents in the artboard and choose Export As to get those layers. Or you can choose File, Export As to export each artboard as a flattened and optimized ping or JPEG. You can also save your design as a multi-page PDF where each artboard is its own page, allowing you to easily send the whole design to another person. If you're designing for an iOS device, you can use the Device Preview panel to connect to your iPhone or iPad and see a live version right on your device. You can even swipe between artboards right in the app. The new Artboards feature in Photoshop CC 2015 gives you freedom and flexibility to easily convey responsive web design, mobile app design, simply organizing your designs, and much more. Give Artboards a try today.